So <clears throat> I um, prepared the program for the from yoga practice regarding the the COVID, this um, coronavirus, and uh, we will do tonight that program. We'll go through that so that you learn that and also you can teach that to your friends and other people to show and um, it is excellent as a prevention and also in case of uh, people who already have some problems especially the respiratory problems so they can help themselves and it's um, very useful to reduce these symptoms of the infection and especially that people um, strengthen their respiratory system and immune system and also the car cardiovascular system. Because they found that uh, through that infection of that virus, it is attacking the cardiovascular system also and causing this micro and macro thrombosis <clears throat> and also it is um, attacking the, the respiratory system the lungs especially the lower parts of the lungs and creating um, problem with the breathing and also the <clears throat> immune system if it's not strong enough then um, the people have difficulties with that virus. So this program, um, now I start to teach and uh, uh, with, uh, also, also with cooperation with the um, Indian Embassy in Croatia, mm, it will be um, presented uh, to more people and also with the cooperation with some doctors in Croatia also, um, I will try to make this available to the uh, <coughs> people who work with the patients with these problems. So, um, as you know, the, that pandemic is already um, now a long time and all over the world and uh, we can ask ourselves what is what is happening and why this is happening and um, it is for sure the period of time now these years and the next years of some demand from nature to the people to to enhance in their evolution and uh, the, somehow the nature give us the <coughs> push hmm, in that direction. And uh, there is demand on our life for survival. That we need to consider what is the healthy way of life, how to live without stress and reduce the stress in the lifestyle, and uh, how to improve the health, our general health and immune system, its function. And this can be also created, the strong immune system can be all, only created through the, in some way, what we say, yogic way of life or Ayurvedic, uh, following the Ayurveda uh, recommendations or simply uh, living healthy way of life and uh, and maintaining that um, um, healthy condition and also on the mental level to be less in the condition of fear worry angriness or um, any other negative emotions to reduce this in the life and increase the positive values 
So, and this is the main um, the main um, approach how to cope with that um, <clears throat> pandemic. It is something which is missing in that approach uh, all over the world because the main approach is just focused on <coughs> people putting in some in the hospitals and then on these respirators and, and then uh, trying to find out whether they will survive or they will die on the respiratory on these uh, respirators and uh, and then uh, vaccination <coughs> as a measure but one of the most important thing is and the demand now is really globally to start um, education about the healthy way of life and changing many things Take, taking care of the health of our body of the health of our mind the health of the environment of the nature and everything so it is demand to enhance the level of collective consciousness of the consciousness of the people <clears throat> so the nature uh, is pushing us whether we will change or we will not survive and uh, and this is something what we need to understand and uh, we can't blame anybody for this what is going on what is happening it is in some way <clears throat> um, we can say um, uh, in some way it is uh, giving us more uh, awareness about our life to reevaluate re our life and see what we can do better and how to live in a better way so from that point of view we need to consider that pandemic not from the point of view of fear forget about fear <clears throat> this is some uh, request from nature to us and uh, we need to make decision that we really start changing the way of our life and improving so in that sense <clears throat> this is one of the aspects of that approach that we learn, that we know something, have, have some knowledge how we can uh, help ourselves, take care about our uh, normal, uh, healthy functioning <clears throat> of our body. So that's why we will go through this program now and I will send you uh together with the link of this video i will also send you the written material about that program which um, i structured it is the 30 minutes program half an hour program which is good to be practiced twice a day before breakfast and before uh, dinner in the morning and in the evening and with that program then you can really uh, be on the safe side regarding any kind of viruses or mutation of the viruses or who knows what what more can come out of of this because we can't go against nature she is more clever than what we are and what is uh, important and is that we hear the nature and we learn the lesson from nature and then do what she is asking us and then there is no problem then nature is supporting us not doing any harm in any way <clears throat> so so this program is focused on uh, on the three areas of our life keeping our respiratory system in good condition and then keeping the, the <clears throat> cardiovascular system in good condition and immune system so we will start from the beginning so 
this program is very simple and everybody can do it even those people who never heard about yoga or anything in that sense so the starting point is first sitting comfortably so we sit comfortably either depending on the condition physical of a person if the person is able to sit <coughs> Uh, in Sukhasana, like this, or if not, then just sitting on a chair. You know, like not uh, <clears throat> leaning with the back to the wall or anything behind, but sitting on the chair with the torso free from all sides, firm sitting and feet on the ground, or sitting like this and then on the sitting bones. So in that condition, first we bring awareness to our breathing, to the function of the respiratory system and make conscious connection because that process of breathing goes unconsciously, goes through the function of autonomic nervous system. And because we are not so much present consciously in what our nervous system is doing, <clears throat> That, that's why we are totally unconscious about he, its function of the autonomic nervous system, of different activities which he is organizing, which are the life-sustaining activities for our life, like breathing and beating of the heart and function of all internal organs. Now we need to <clears throat> teach people to become conscious of that activity of autonomic nervous system in relation to the breathing, <coughs> to that life-sustaining activity. And for that, we tell them that they just close their eyes, <coughs> sitting comfortably, and observing their body, internal activity of the body, in relation to the breathing. So that they can have more concrete experience of that movement of the body in relation to the breathing, then we can ask them to put the hands from the side of the stomach and be the witness experiencer and see that action of expansion and retraction. Now, when you make the contact, then that activity becomes more clearly experienced. You have more clear knowledge. <clears throat> and then this creates more clear sensation in the sensory cortex, which then translates in the better function in the motor cortex in relation to that neuromuscular activity. So then you will start feeling that there is natural tendency appearing that that movement expands more and retracts more just by having conscious connection. And this is yoga. Yoga means conscious connection. Now you make conscious connection with your breathing, with the action which your nervous system is doing, autonomic nervous system. Then putting the hands more from the side of the chest. <clears throat> like this, experiencing then one hand from the front, other from the back, and becoming conscious and getting knowledge that that expansion retraction is to all sides, then on the chest level. Then on the... <clears throat> in the pelvis, pelvic, from the front and from the back. Then from the side. <clears throat> so 
then people experience they experience that there is certain activity which is expanding retracting to all sides because never before they they never before experienced that because they were not dealing with that mechanics which is responsible for the breathing how the air will come in the oxygen and carbon dioxide in which way that exchange is going on it is the consequence of that expansion and traction of that activity. It will not, not go by itself. So that's why getting conscious control first, that you can make conscious control over the function of autonomic nervous system. First, you must consciously connect with that action and then take your, by your will, control over that action that you can prolong that action of expansion and retraction and make it make it longer and then you can work on all the respiratory system and uh, and the muscles to get under control and then you can prolong hmm, your breath in and out hmm. so now what will continue that so the first part is just getting conscious connection with that and becoming aware of that expansion detraction from where it goes from the center of the torso from the diaphragm then you ask the people just to feel that diaphragm region how from there expansion starts and their retraction is starting also by relaxation of that. Then you ask them <clears throat> that now voluntarily by their will, they should start the conscious action by their will of prolonging inhale and starting this by the diaphragma and then ex expanding the rib cage, activating intercostal muscles, then expanding the activating muscles at the back of the body and upper chest and the chest muscles to feel full expansion and then relaxing diaphragma and sinking the ribs and make long exhale tightening stomach muscles ending with the muscles below the navel completely tightened all around then start inhaling again from the diaphragma. Expansion and then retraction. Now follow the following rhythm until you are counting up to three, inhale, and when you are count, counting up to five, exhale, and count in that speed. One, two, three, four, five, like that. So start inhaling and try to get conscious control over the muscles in a progressive way upwards activating them and and creating full expansion and the air goes by itself uh, it goes but it is sucked in not by itself the air is sucked in because of that expansion and then start relaxing diaphragma and retraction slowly and it is longer than inhale Prolonging exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Prolonging. The ratio three to five, this is the golden cut ratio. Hmm? one natural rhythm
So complete inhale and complete exhale. So this longer exhale than inhale is inducing more relaxation. And Patanjali said that in the Sutra number 1534, the first chapter, that by prolonging exhalation and at the end holding without breath even, it is creating that calmness in the state of our consciousness, relaxation and calmness, reducing the tension and the stress. So like this, then <coughs> people continue breathing like five minutes, feeling that proper way of complete inhale and exhale, prolonging exhale. And then after that, starting <coughs> with some simple um, physical practice exercise of the twisting of the spine to increase the flow and circulation inside the spinal column about cerebrospinal liquid and create a good effect for the function of the nervous system and also improving the function of immune system <clears throat> and the lymph system because that action is also creating better circulation of the lymph inside the body. So this is that sequence on the back of the twisting of the spine, but the most two important are the, when the knees are bent and the feet separate and hands to the side, palms up, and then do twisting, left, right, middle inhale and twist, exhale. Like this 20 times. <clears throat> Okay, and then feet together and uh, <clears throat> again continue 20 times. <clears throat> this is also stretching and relaxing the respiratory muscles, especially those muscles along the spine. Okay, and then bring the knees to the chest three times with exhale. And stretch the legs and arms and then relax <clears throat> and feel the body little. Okay, then slowly <clears throat> turn the body to the side and with the help of the, <clears throat> of the hands come to the sitting position. <clears throat> then we proceed with uh, a few positions, few asanas um, which are very useful <clears throat> to enhance better circulation in the um, lower parts of the lungs. And uh, especially opening at the, that breathing movement at the back, the, the lower in the back, lower back and at the back. <clears throat> And um, then this is um, creating better circulation there 
and so that in the case of infection with the virus, he, he, it is preventing creating that uh, inflammation of that liquid inside the lungs. And because usually it comes that this becomes more, that liquid becomes more, uh, more thick, hmm? thickness. And then it starts preventing the proper function of the alveoles and everything. And people start feeling they can't breathe. Hmm? And they need to go on the, these respirators and everything, which is uh, <coughs> not actually uh, ending good for many people. So with these positions, you are creating that better function of the respiratory movement, in the, especially in the lower lungs, in those areas which are most uh, um, problematic if that virus enters in that region and creates uh, inflammation. <clears throat> so one position is very simple. It is <clears throat> usually known as head to the knee position. The head to the knee position is actually creating that opening at the back and in that region and enhance that activity there related to the breathing. So this can be done in different position. One is like this <coughs> position, sitting in Vajrasana, so-called Vajrasana in yoga, or just in the kneeling position. And from there, then <coughs> slide, slowly sliding with the hands and bending forward, and lowering the head towards the knee, and staying in that position down. And experiencing that expansion retraction at the back. Just continue, I will explain. <coughs> so, head to the knee position means that the front part of the body is in compression. If the front part of the body is in compression, then the back is in extension. And then that uh, the force, internal force, which is responsible for that internal movement of expansion retraction is pushed to the back more and creates more sensation of expansion and retraction in the back of the body. That's why from that position, you can even put the hands on the lower back and continue breathing. This is like balasana. Hmm? and keeping the hands on the region <coughs> of the lower back or the area where the, the kidneys are, then you will get more clear knowledge of that expansion detraction. And this will again create that more cre clear picture about that part of the body re in relation to the breathing in those areas, uh, lower parts of the lungs, which will motor cortex take over and increase that that uh, <coughs> activity to be more open and more open and better function and better circulation. So like this. So this is one position or <coughs> you can stay in that position breathing like uh, 10 to 15 breaths staying. Hmm? And then or Jan Shishasana. Those who know from yoga, this is the position. And then inhale up and exhaling, lower the body down, head to the knee. Again, feeling that expansion retraction at the back and the <coughs> lower parts of the chest at the back fun functioning more. And then inhale up and exhale down. And then you can do also to those who feel uh, comfortable enough from this kneeling position, they can do so-called in yoga uh, down dog position or Adho um, Mukha Svanasana. So put the hands on the hands and the knees 
Inhale all the toes and raise the hips up. And stretch the back. And remain in that position. <coughs> feeling that expansion retraction. Breathing movement for like 15 breaths. And then <coughs> if people are not able to be on this, uh, in that position, they can do like this. <coughs> they can go on the elbows and put the forehead down on the lower, uh, on the arms. And stay like that for 15 breaths. And then you can even by your will, increase expansion and retraction. Relaxing. Feel expansion and then retraction. Retraction is relaxing. Air goes out. Expansion, the air is drawn in. Like this. And then after that, <coughs> lie down in Bakarasana, spread the legs to the side and the toes out, left. Hand on the right shoulder, right hand on the left shoulder, and put the forehead down and relax. So the the stomach is pressed to the ground, then naturally again, the breathing movement will be strongly, more strongly uh, expressed in the lower, uh, lower back, at the back. And then you feel that expansion detection there. <coughs> then from there, slowly go on the knees and come back to the Vajrasana. Yeah. So then again, from the Vajrasana, you bend forward, and stay, or Balasana, hands on the lower back, stay 15 breaths. <coughs> then from there, you can <coughs> um, sit and stretch the legs and do Janushishasana, one side, just easy how much you can do. And knee, head towards the knee in that direction, but how much you can go. Mm -hmm. Then the other leg also, and then <coughs> you can, Go to this position here and stay 15 breaths, or this position and stay 15 breaths. And then lying on the stomach again in the <coughs> Makarasana. And like this, repeating three times that sequence of these three asanas. <coughs> so that Shashanka asana, so called, like, uh, like uh, with the bending forward from Vajrasana or Balasana with the hands at the back. <coughs> and then Janushirsha asana and this Adho Mukha uh, Shvanasana, huh? or with that supporting on the knees and the elbows. Like this. That's in that sequence, these three asanas, and then lying on the stomach and feeling that expansion retraction at the back. So this is one cycle. And then you repeat this three times, three cycles <coughs> with that. With that practice, and this is about 10, 10 minutes. Then after that, <coughs> you sit comfortably. Or uh, those people who can't sit with the crossed legs, they can sit on the chair, but <clears throat> most important thing is that the torso, torso is vertical, hmm? that you are not bent in any way, but vertical. 
then we do uh, abdominal breathing or we uh, the sanskrit we call it kapalabhati no? as a clear those who never practice that <clears throat> they can just put the hand right hand in the region below the navel <clears throat> so keeping the hand on the region below the navel with eyes closed they can push the hand in and at the same time create strong contraction of up, this lower abdominal muscles rectus abdominis in that region below the navel and creating expelling of air out through the nostril and then relax then the stomach goes out and the hand moves out and then again So like this <clears throat> can be practiced first to get that uh, movement connection with the help of the hand hmm? contraction the hand goes in and relaxation and goes out okay like this <clears throat> then making variation of that to uh, work on the respiratory system on the lungs and cleaning the lungs from all sides the lower parts of the lungs then the left side right side the upper part of the lungs and the back of the lungs for that using the five different variations of that position in the and the breathing so <clears throat> you can do um, adjust yourself Traditionally, it is done in this, this sitting position, Vajrasana. And then <clears throat> when you are sitting straight and do that. Do like 20 times slow return, but make it conscious. Contraction and the air is expelled out and re relaxation then the air is drawn in. <clears throat> so we do like this 20 times. Then normal inhale, make a long inhale up and exhale still longer completely exhale. then sitting to the right side or if you are sitting on a chair you can also lean on one side so that you compress the left side and then the left side of the lungs and the heart is compressed and then making that breathing it is creating more purification of that part of the lungs 10 times and then come to the middle <clears throat> inhale and then exhale then sit to the left side <clears throat> and hold 10 times and then come to the middle, <clears throat> inhale <clears throat> and put the hands between the shoulder blades, elbows up and then 10 times for the upper part of the chest. Inhale and exhale <clears throat> and then inhale and twist to one side and then make in that position that breathing this is for the back of the of the lungs
inhale and twist to the other side inhale <clears throat> and exhale so these are the these five variations of kapalabhati <coughs> depending on your ability if somebody is new never practice that then what to do is just person sit comfortably on the chair put the hand here below the navel on the stomach and trying to get that rhythm to connect consciously that contraction with these muscles and feeling of the air being thrown out and then relaxing that and the air is sucked in back. So just this, hmm? like this, <clears throat> making 10 times, then he can just breathe normally, a few breaths and then again, and then repeating these five, five cycles of that kind of breathing. <clears throat> In that sense, if the person starts feeling, because it will induce the action of purification of the lungs and something what is deposit inside, impurities will have tendency to, they will be stimulated to be thrown out. And then there will be tendency, sometimes the coughing, hmm? uh, need for coughing can appear. Don't suppress that need. This is very important in <clears throat> yoga Ayurveda. It is the teaching that you should never suppress natural urges, like sneezing, coughing, and other things. So in that sense, when if that coughing comes, or even at the end of this couple of pranayama, even if you don't feel coughing, you can make then like conscious coughing, this is called the uh, uh, coughing of an old man pranayama, the breathing exercise. So in one exhale, so you inhale and then exhaling. And then from the second half of exhale, prolong exhale by adding the coughing movement. Like this, coughing, coughing, coughing so that by coughing you expel the all air out and bend forward and then slowly come up or with inhale and relax then again inhale and and bending forward <laughs> completely exhale and then slowly come up with complete inhale and exhale. One more time, inhale. And then start exhale, bending forward and proceed with coughing. And then come up, inhale. and relax <clears throat> then you can sit <clears throat> in a comfortable position whether you're on the chair or sukhasana <clears throat> and then feel feel your body and feel that expansion retraction more free then you do <clears throat> some dynamic breathing with the chest we did now with the stomach like stomach breathing now we do the chest breathing so-called bastrika pranayama with the movement of the hands then breathing you start with inhale <clears throat> so keep the fist here and then open the hands up inhale and exhale pull back and make a fist then.
10 times. And then make inhale and long exhale. Again, inhale three to five, that ratio. And exhale. Okay. <clears throat> then, so with the strong action of the hands, so here, keeping, and then moving up, inhale. Okay, 10 times again. Now make three breaths, inhale and long exhale. And then <clears throat> from here, open hands, inhale and close, exhale to the side 10 times. Okay, and relax. And feel your <clears throat> chest, your Expand freely and retract completely, feeling that freedom in that moment. <coughs> so after that, we do Brahmari. Uh, Brahmari is excellent also because it creates vibration, uh, especially in the sinuses in that area, because there is a <coughs> this entrance to our body is the nostrils and the mouth, and mainly related to the, the breathing. Um, this is the first uh, first. Um, level of the defense of the body is at the entry hmm? and the immune system is checking what is happening in the entry what is coming inside us the immune system <clears throat> it is intelligence system it is the body intelligence which is then sensing and feeling and registering whether the things which are Entering our body are useful for the life of our body. It is like the, you know, gate. The, the, those who are protecting the gate. Or some, something enters in what is harmful for the body. If the immune system detects that something is entering our body, and this is the area of the nostrils and the, the mouth and everything, something which is not good for our body, then it will mobilize uh, <clears throat> our body to fight against that, hmm? to go there and uh, destroy this uh, um, material or whatever it is, virus or bacteria or whatever, which can do the harm to our body. <clears throat> so then uh, this, but practice of that pranayama, brahmari, is creating strong vibration in the sinus cavities here, above the eyes and in the cervical area below the skull <coughs> and in the channels of the nostrils. And um, this is helping to um, to throw out also and um, to neutralize these things which are not useful for the body, to prevent further going deeper inside the body. 
So then <clears throat> this you create, you inhale, and then during exhale, you create the nasal sound. So the Brahmari <coughs> is creation of the sound in the um, nostrils, not in the in the throat. Mm -hmm. Here, and when you keep the hands on the bone of the nostril, you will feel vibration there, that the bone is vibrating. The sound M, like that. So then you will make um, inhale. After inhale, you will close the ears like this with the thumbs, closing the ears. And then you will start producing that sound to be created in the nasal cavity and feel vibration here. And then how you are exhaling, prolonging your exhale, then that vibration start feeling <clears throat> resonating in the sinus cavities and moving below the skull from inside and then search the, the point moving from font, through the fontanella out with that sound. <coughs> the sound will go on a higher pitch slowly. And like this, you create that sound huh? with exhale. So uh, in that way, <coughs> you can repeat that bravery three times with exhale, okay? So we inhale, close the ears. After that, remain in silence, eyes closed. <clears throat> and then repeat very gently within yourself, mentally. I feel strong immunity health and happiness. Like this, with some pause in between, repeat nine times. This is the Sankalpa resolution. That with that practice, you achieved strong immunity, health and happiness. That you have. Hmm? You have strong immunity, health and happiness.
them around the palms. Cover the eyes. <clears throat> And slowly open the eyes and <coughs> remove them. <coughs> so, any practice from yoga is useful. Anything, anything what you do, but um, from from all these different practices, uh, this is somehow some essence in relation to that purpose, mm? to keep the internal space of your torso full of vitality and good circulation and good function mm? and good immune system. So for the health, mm? this is for the health essential essential, some of these practices, hmm? to put in a, that <clears throat> maximum like half an hour um, time of the practice and like this two times a day hmm? on empty stomach. So before breakfast and then before dinner so that after lunch already passed um, some time. Now it took us one hour hmm, because of explanations. I was uh, giving you explanation of the, each of the practice and everything, but when you do it just in one sequence, then it will take you just half an hour. Hmm. But at the beginning you can do again and uh, like this, and uh, it is good that you teach that and show this in a simple way these practices to other people, regardless whether they <coughs> practice yoga or they never practice yoga, or they don't know at all what yoga is. But you can, you don't need to use at all any Sanskrit words. You can just tell them, now do this exercise, now do this exercise this way, and feel that, connect yourself with these functions, <coughs> get more clear knowledge and uh, this will be improving the function of autonomic nervous system. So thank you very much for this evening. And uh, I will send you this also written text along with that. Thank you very much. <clears throat>